Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. We all know on Monday, August 21st, 2017, a solar eclipse will sweep across the USA, while some parts of the United States will see up to 2 minutes and 40 seconds of totality. Let's just say we have 2 minutes of totality on average. What are you going to do in 2 minutes of solar totality? I'm no expert at solar eclipse photography, but I wanted to show you what I plan. Please leave your comments below on what you'll be doing during your two minutes of totality. There are five phases in a solar eclipse. Partial eclipse, when the moon first overlaps the sun. Two, total eclipse begins, start your two minute timer. This is when the sun is covered by the moon. You may be able to see Bailey's beads and the diamond ring effect. Total number three is totality and maximum eclipse. The sun's corona is visible, probably one of the best photography moments. Number four is a two minute timer ends. Total eclipse ends. As the to totality ends, you get another chance at Bailey's beads and the diamond ring effect. Phase five is the partial eclipse ends. The moon no longer overlaps the sun. Everyone knows eye safety is important. Let me review three different solar glasses I found. One, the standard paper. These are common and in my opinion, they're okay for brief views at the sun. These solar glasses allow light to come in around the sides and they have white on the inside. The lens is 26 millimeters high and 42 millimeters wide. Plastic Daylight Sky. These are a little better, but I found them to be a little brighter than I prefer. My wife likes these because she can wear her glasses under them. The lens size is 38 millimeters by 41 millimeters, and the extra height blocks out more sun. Eclipse Shades by Rainbow Symphony. These are the best in my opinion. They block out all light and they feel comfortable to use. The downside is, is they fit closely to your head and you cannot wear glasses under them. The lens is 41 millimeters high by 49 millimeters wide. This offers the largest coverage for your eyes. I'll be using these Eclipse Shades for sure. Another option, probably the safest for your eyes, are viewing through solar telescopes with a specialized H-alpha solar lens. These solar telescopes come in all shapes and sizes. I have a Coronado PST. The stock eyepiece is 20 millimeters, but I have found I get better solar views with a 12 millimeter Teleview Nagler eyepiece. During the solar eclipse, don't forget to look around you. I've heard stories during the solar eclipse it may look like a 360 degree sunrise around you. Also, I've heard about shadow snakes where it looks like the ground is crawling with snakes. Shadow snakes are best seen on a white surface. What about taking photos? Well, with only two minutes in your schedule, you better plan a strategy which will allow you to set it and forget it or do something that will require very little attention during your photo shoot. The last thing I want to be doing is farting around with photography gear and missing the event completely. I'll use my DSLR and video camera on tripods with Daystar solar filters. These filters have a white solar light filter and here are some examples I took with these Daystar solar filters. In these examples I tested at different exposures using ISO 100 and I found one 250th of a second to look the best. During totality, after the diamond ring, you should be able to safely view and photograph the eclipse without protective filters. With careful planning and pre-test setup, you can make the best two minutes last a lifetime. I'll show you what I capture and I would like to see your solar eclipse images too. Please send your solar images to dhubble at gmail.com and I'll share them with everyone in a future compilation video. Good luck and enjoy the eclipse of 2017. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I hope to see you soon.